Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to use our coordinate grid teaching tool. Okay, when you first start the uh, coordinate grid teaching tool, this is this screen you'll see, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. But let me go ahead and show you how you get there. And uh, from any page on our site, you'll see the main menu up here. Part of it's cut off uh, over here on each head. But the uh, tab you want to click on, menu item, is Teaching Tools and once you click there it'll take you to this page where you can see our teaching tools and if you click the coordinate grid uh, either this link down here or the uh, image it will take you to the page where you can uh, either see the overview that you're watching right now you could uh, download instructions by clicking this or you go to the coordinate grid and if you scroll down on this page it gives you all the instructions and I'm going to go over that in a minute but if you uh, need a refresher you can uh, either look in this page or either download the instructions and look at that uh, read them offline it uh, a lot of instructions but it's more details than anything because it's fairly simple to use so let me go ahead and go back up here let's go back up here like that and I'm going to go uh, show you how to use the uh, application so when you first start off, this is the uh, screen you'll see. You have a couple options up here on, on things you can do. And uh, let me go ahead and show, walk through the uh, configuration panel. And if I click on, if the way it starts up right now is the default is static mode, which means nothing will move. You can't resize it. Show mode, and uh, I'll go over that in just a second. Animation on or animation off. And you just change the radio button by clicking on them like that. And uh, so when you first start up static mode, I can't, uh, nothing here moves. Well, that's uh, animation, did, but, but the uh, grid doesn't move. The configuration panel doesn't move. Uh, if I want to, I do want to move things around. I can actually put it in move mode and change the, uh, all I'm doing is, is left clicking and dragging and drag and drop stuff around and if I'm different different modes and actually move those things around if I want to uh, resize them I can click the resize and I can click on anything and it's the same thing I'm dragging and dropping and just dragging and dropping there the static let's go ahead and uh, move this uh, go ahead and move this over a little bit would make everything static and if I want to get rid of configuration panel I can hit the C key and I believe the yeah the escape key you know C capital C I'm just hitting C on the keyboard <clears throat> and that gets rid of the uh, configuration panel and that allows you to for if you're in the classroom uh, well I'd have to move this first and I can move it over here and do that like that but for uh, the demo, let me go ahead and keep this up here so you can see everything when I go review it. Let's go ahead and put it in static mode. That locks everything down. Let's go back to quiz mode. And uh, so show mode is basically just kind of the demo mode. Well, I think the, think of as demo mode or kind of the teaching mode. And that's a, I wanted to show, uh, click a point over here, coordinate pair. It shows it. Uh, the uh, coordinate pair is 4, 6, and it shows you how you got there. That's kind of a neat thing to you want to demonstrate how the coordinate grid works. The uh, quiz mode, and here's where the animation comes into play. <coughs> um, this is for when you want to quiz somebody on a specific coordinate pair, uh, quid particular point on the on the coordinate grid and so let's go ahead and choose this one and I know that's six across and six up so you would uh, choose this one and you may ask the student okay go ahead and plug in uh, the uh, coordinate pair the X and Y uh, coordinates and so here I can either type in six which I'm doing with the keyboard or I can just if I don't, if I don't want to use a keyboard or don't have access to keyboard I can just use these up and down arrows and when I'm ready check and that's the animation you see there it's a little let me go ahead and do uh, six across one 
and you can see the animation it's just a little check mark and if you get that wrong then you can't see it here it tells you that the actually no, you don't get the check mark animation and it tells you the correct answer is 6-2 if we turn the animation off and let's go plug in 6-2 and check it just gives you a check mark, shows you that it's correct, and it doesn't do the animation. Let's go ahead and go back up. So that's how the uh, quiz mode works. And really the, <coughs> excuse me, the random mode is very similar, except this, this, in this mode, you don't have the option of selecting what uh, point on the coordinate grid you want them to get to, to check, to enter the coordinate, uh, X and Y coordinates. Um, and so, and if you don't really enter it, it's just telling you click on coordinate 0, 5. So 0 across, 5 up, check. Go ahead and turn the animation back on. 8 across 0 is here. And I get the red check mark versus the green in the other one. Okay, so 5 across 1. And so uh, you just keep going on. And t if I go ahead and click the wrong one, it'll tell me it says you click 6-5 try again so that's kinda nice because I can keep clicking around until I get it so that's how you how uh, coordinate grid works um, you've got the uh, show quiz and random mode you have other things you can adjust here um, the application is free to use in the classroom um, and at home really anywhere online uh, anywhere you get to it online and uh, there's never any membership or sign up required and I hope the videos help some and I hope you enjoy using the coordinate grid thanks for watching